When I first meet a patient, uh, they're usually pretty anxious, they and their family. And there are five things I really like them to know or understand. My name is Mark Gerdish. I'm Chief of Cardiothoracic Surgery at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. The first thing I like to talk about is risk. And we have data that allows us to estimate risk for patients. And mostly what they recognize is that it's very safe and that we've refined the techniques to the point where people do very well. The second thing I'll usually discuss is efficacy. Can we fix the problem? And the truth is yes. The vast majority of patients that present to us were able to identify exactly what we need to do and accomplish resolution of their problem. Uh, the third topic that we often talk about uh, is life expectancy. People want to understand if they're going to get to live out their life the way they had planned and expected. In heart valve disease, uh, we have achieved a great deal with respect to that. Certainly in valve repair, we find that we can generally restore people to nearly normal life curve. And also with valve replacement, by choosing the right device, by planning out the patient's life, then we optimize the likelihood of them living long and well. The fourth thing that I talk about because it's something that we do, but also I think all patients should be aware of, is enhanced recovery. Uh, the entire process from before, during their hospitalization and afterward, through enhanced recovery, the reduction in pain, the enhanced mobility, the return to full activity, including full mobility, I think patients need to know about it and ask about it. The last thing that I like to cover with patients, sometimes they're not even aware, sometimes they only have a hint of it, there are concomitant disorders, other things that are going on with the patient's heart for example, atrial fibrillation, or a leak in the tricuspid valve when they're there for a leaking mitral valve. We'd like to cover all of that and to be sure that we're addressing all those issues while they're there, because if there is a problem that should be treated, it should be treated at the time that they're having their surgery. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.